Hello, this is Tola from Trifold Productions with another Blender Quickie for Beginners. And then this uh, Quickie for Beginners, this is going to be a tutorial on how to create water or a stream of water without having to use the uh, water modifier. Uh, the water modifier in Blender is it's okay, um, but if you're wanting to use it, you know, in the scene with a faucet running water or a shower scene where water spotting out of the head of the shower, it's going to take a long time to render because it uses a lot of um, particles to calculate you know the volume of the water and so on and so forth and velocity but with this um, what I'm going to show you you don't have to use the water modifier at all and it's going to be a really basic setup for this uh, stream of water I mean like really really basic I think I'll put a clip of what I created using this system or this this technique for at the beginning of this video that way you can see what it looks like Obviously, this is going to be for uh, shooting a scene of, of the water from a distance, not close up. If it were, if it were going to be close up, you'd have to actually um, increase the uh, displacement, so on and so forth. But with this technique, you don't have to mess with the displacement at all. And it's for beginners, so it's going to be really easy, really simple, really straightforward. First thing we're going to do is just delete, delete the uh, default cube. Let me turn on my screencast keys so you can see the keys I'm pressing. Okay, there they are. We minimize this to close this out and we're going to press delete on our keyboard I'm using my laptop so it might sound or look a little bit different and we're going to press shift A and then push one first then five to get a better a straight on view of what we're trying to create here but shift A and from mesh we're going to choose circle and then we're going to rotate it by pressing R, holding down Control, so we're going to uh, move it in increments. We're going to move our mouse up, and then we're going to go Edit Mode. Press Tab on your keyboard, then E on the X axis. Let's turn on our Move Gizmo. Click on that, and pull this forward. And I'm going to scroll up on my mouse wheel to reposition my window and hold down my Shift button and plus the mouse, middle mouse wheel to kind of pivot around uh, the user interface so I can see a little bit better then E X again X do on the X axis E X it doesn't have to be perfect but you want to have like this want this to represent like a the stream itself so we're gonna have this curve down so press E again and then left click and then drag this out press R on your keyboard rotate it down E again and we're just gonna pull this out just eyeball it E again pull it out R to rotate E again and this time press Z you want to pull it on the Z axis pull this down with your mouse and we're gonna press S Z 0 to flatten out these sort of meshes press E again on the Z axis the your keyboard and just drag your mouse down and let's do that one more time E extrude Z and pull down your mouse let's tap out that see how that looks okay it looks pretty good remember this is just a stream of water uh, looking at this stream of water from a distance it's a bit curved at the top but that's fine it's not gonna be a problem let's press one again let's let's extrude it one more time go into edit mode tab E extrude on the Z axis and pull this down and tab out of that go back into the object mode so you can see what it looks like and we're going to, we want to make this look a little bit better so we're going to press W on our keyboard and shade smooth and to make it look even more pleasant to the eyes we're going to go into our modifier tab and click on that add modifier and we're going to click on subdivision surface and for the viewport we're going to crank this up to three so we can see what it looks like and it comes with like the end result two three three for render also and that looks a lot better let's press one to reposition it shift button middle mouse button to reposition a little bit more and the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to add a wave modifier to this so add modifier and we're going to go to let me see where is wave um, let me 
see. Oh, so we're at the bottom. Click on that. And let's minimize that. You don't have to mess with the parameters at all. This is fine the way it is. Remember, we're trying to keep this as simple as possible for the beginners and for people who would want a stream of water, maybe from a faucet, coming, looking at it from a distance, not close up, just from a distance. And then we're going to minimize that also to get, give us room to add more. One more modifier to this. So click on Add Modifier. And we're going to click on this placement, which is at the top, this place. Also leave this the way it is. Don't uh, mess with any of the parameters. Don't add, add the textures. Leave it as it is. Let's minimize that. And now we're going to add uh, some things in the node editor. So we're going to hover our mouse over the corner here. When it turns the crosshairs, click and drag down. And then go to uh, this icon here. Click on that. From the drop down menu, click on shader editor. And then we're going to go back to this side of this panel because we're going to add a texture to it. So click on that and click on new. And we're going to call this stream. Enter. And let's name the object stream also. It's, it's a good thing to just get in the habit of naming your objects. Whatever you create in Blender, just get into the habit of naming it no matter how many, how few elements you have in your scene, just name them. So I'm going to double click up here and type in stream also. I only, ha only have a limited amount of time. My wife just uh, went out with my children to give me some time to record this tutorial. But they'll probably be, be back in a few minutes. She said they're not going to be out that long, so I'm just trying to get this in at this point in time. And from here, we're going to add a noise texture. So press Shift A. And we're going to go to Shader, or is it Texture? Go to Texture. And we're going to click on Noise Texture. Let's put this up here. Let's scroll up so we can zoom in. And we're going to change the color of this so it can look like water. I'm going to click on that. And from this wheel hill here, the wheel color wheel, we're going to click on an area that looks makes it look blue. Well, that's a pretty look, good looking blue there. Let's stick with that. And then we're going to turn this into glass. Let's go, let's change the uh, shader view in our viewport by clicking on this. Let's click on that. And it's blue. But we want it to be transparent because water is pretty much transparent somewhat translucent depending on what's in it but for the most part transparent and where we're going to do that we're going to turn down the specular we're going to turn down the roughness and we're going to turn up the transmission and you can tell from with this uh, shader viewport shading here material preview it's reflects the environment which is not what we want to see we want to see the actual uh, what this actually looks like and to do that what we're going to do is go to our render tab which is this click on that turn this from ED to cycles I'm gonna click mine change mine to, to GPU compute and GPU GPU compute only works uh, with blender 2.8 and above when we have a dedicated or strong graphics card if you have a laptop or a system that's uh, the graphics card isn't that strong, this is not going to work. So GPU compute is what works with a, a strong graphics card in Blender 2.8 and above. And we're going to change the background. Right now, the world background is gray. We're going to turn that to white so we can see uh, see this better. So we're going to click on that and then click on the top part to make it white. And then once we've done that, let's click on the uh, viewport shading which is the render which will be rendered uh, the final render view and there we have our water now this doesn't look like water so to speak so that's why we added the the uh, noise texture because we're going to add the noise texture the factor to the displacement uh, material output displacement so we're going to do that right now so just click on left click on the factor node and drag it over to displacement and there you have that displacement in there. Now we're going to turn it back to uh, the object viewport and we're going to press play to see how this looks. Let's press play. And there you go. And when you render this out, this actually looks like water coming out of a faucet. Let me pause it so we can get a view of that. And like I said before, you want you don't want to have a close-up 
uh, camera view of this. You want it to be kind of like far, maybe like from like right here. If someone's washing their hands in the sink, you don't want to use a water modifier to do that because it's going to take a long time to render that out. But you want to have them washing their hands in the sink from like this distance. That way, it looks like there looks like water's coming out of a faucet. So this is like a really, really basic and really straightforward way of creating water in Blender, a stream of water without using the water modifier, and it renders pretty fast. And like I said before, if you're wanting to zoom in and have a close-up view of this in a scene, you'd have to, you know, do s some more things to it to make it more look more realistic. Like with the uh, displacement modifier, you'd have to put a texture in here, a noise texture in here, or yeah, noise of a run eye texture, and apply it to the um, to the mesh in order to get those ripples in the water for a stream of water. But for like a basic distant view of water coming out of a stream, a stream of water coming out of, of a faucet, this is fine. It renders pretty quick, pretty straightforward. So yeah, that's a Blender Quickie for today from Trifle Productions. Thank you guys who are watching, thank you guys who will still watch in the future for the subscriptions. Thank you guys, really appreciate you guys, you guys helping me out a lot. And thank you for you guys who will subscribe in the future, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Alright, adios.